she's a little concerned about Bloom and she wants her to let her know her mom know Hey, hey everyone, Rachel Lee back with another TV show recap and makeup episode for you. Every Tuesday and Thursday, I come on here and talk about a popular TV show and then I do my makeup to go along with that TV show. Um, but for the next two weeks, I'm going to be adding an extra day in and doing three episodes a week because the show that I'm talking about is only six episodes long. Every episode I will do a makeup based on one of the fairies' powers and today's makeup I am going to be doing is based on Stella who is a light fairy. In today's episode we are talking about Fate the Wink Saga Season 1 Episode 4, Some Wrecked Angel. In today's episode we're going to see Bloom continuing to search for answers, Beatrix trying to cover up her crime, and then a special guest at Althea which is going to really upset Stella. So let's get started. So in episode four, the episode opens with confirmation that Callum is dead. And Professor Harvey, Silva, and Dowling are investigating it, trying to figure out who it is. And there are suspicions that someone tried to get into um, Dowling's secret underground passageway. And they conclude that um, there's a murderer in the school now which doesn't help because they've already had enough problems. Um, and Beatrix is now, we see, obsessing over Bloom and looking at her Instagram and checking out so much because she's trying to find more information on Bloom. And um, we will learn more about this later on in the episode. But for now, we seem to think that um, Beatrix has some really evil intentions for Bloom. So word is now out that Bloom is a changeling and everyone's like staring at her weirdly in the school and then Dane is trying to talk to Tara you know to apologize for that video and he tells her that he's sorry about the video and that she is a great person and Tara tells Dane that he needs to be more careful about who he trusts and then she shuts the door on him. And then we see Stella, who is extremely anxious right now because her mother, Luna, the queen of Solaria, is coming to Althea. Um, Skye tells Stella that she can handle her mother and everything's going to be okay. And then we see Luna, who gives a speech at the school assembly after she arrives. And while she is doing this, Dowling is trying to find more traces of the person who murdered Callum and Misa can actually sense the anxiety in Dowling. And then suddenly um, Luna, Queen Luna, announces that they face a threat of at least five burned ones. And she's like really adamant about them being prepared and paying attention. And this is surprising because, you know, Dowling's been trying to keep everything under wraps and not get all this information out to the students. And Luna's just like, no, you need to know this. And tells everyone, kind of scaring everyone. And then we see Aisha has um, found like a weird recording device. And then they can see that Callum is dead and was killed in Dowling's office. Now that Aisha is working in Dowling's office as her assistant since Callum went missing, and Aisha is also using this assistant job to help go through the school records for Bloom. And she tells Bloom that she doesn't want to go to the assembly as they want to look deeper into the records and figure out who Rosalind is. And then Sky ends up finding Bloom looking around the school and he decides to help her find archives. So then we see Beatrix and Riven actually find Bloom and Sky and they're actually making fun of them and teasing them, claiming they're having an emotional affair. And then they end up looking together as a group and Beatrix says she's just trying to help. 
But then she also throws Riven under the bus and tells Bloom that Riven's actually the one who's been spreading the rumor that she is a changeling. And then Skye takes Riven outside because he's really upset and he wants to talk to him. And this leaves Bloom and Beatrix alone in the room, which is exactly what Beatrix wanted. So Beatrix asks Bloom about Rosalind. And then they find a door that says restricted area and Beatrix picks the lock so they can get inside to hopefully find some information. Once they're inside, they see that it's a war room. So in this next scene, we start to see why Stella is so anxious and nervous around her mom um, with the way her mom talks to her and kind of treats her. Queen Luna is speaking to Headmistress Stalling about Stella and the process of fixing her, which is interesting to hear. And then um, Dowling insists that when she is ready, they will move on to stronger magic, but she doesn't think she's ready. And Queen Luna, you know, so wants her to be stronger because she's a princess and she doesn't think she should be taught the way that Dowling is teaching her. And then um, her mother, you know, is talking in some really harsh words and she's belittling Stella, even though Stella's right there. And Luna, you know, shows the type of power that she can use and do. And this kind of, you know, shows like her type of personality and everything. So when Stella leaves the room after this conversation, Aisha's there and she asks if she's okay because she heard the whole conversation. And this conversation now shows that um, Luna is not as nice of a person as she, you know, shows off to the rest of the school. So in this next scene, you know, Bloom and her friends are talking and they think that Dowling was trying to figure out who the killer of Callum was in the assembly with the thing they were using. And then Skye comes into this conversation and asks where Bloom is. And um, they send her a message and then we switch over to Bloom and Beatrix in that room. And Beatrix uses her like electrical power to turn off Bloom's phone. And then Stella finds Skye and she's like really upset with him that he's looking for Bloom instead of, you know, being there for her when she really needs him and his support. Skye tells Stella that he's done with her um, because everyone knows that Bloom is a changeling because Stella spread that rumor around, which is interesting to find out. So in this next part, Tara, Aisha, and Niza go to Dowling and they tell her that they know Callum is dead and that they know that she's looking for the killer. And then they tell her that Bloom and Beatrix are both missing. And this is when Silva comes in the room and tells them that an SUV was stolen off the property. And then we see that Beatrix has taken Bloom to a place called Asterdell. And this is a ta the town that was marked on the war room map and Beatrix uses her power to bring down a barrier and reveal Asterdell and it looks it, and during that we think that she looks like Beatrix is going to attack Bloom but she ends up bringing down the barrier instead and she explains to Bloom that Asterdell used to be a really wonderful settlement until the burned ones arrived and a military unit from Alfia decided that destroying the creatures was more important than saving the lives of the people that lived there. And they, you know, blew up the town. Beatrix then tells um, Bloom that Luna put a veil over the town to hide, you know, how terrible it looks and everything and what had happened that day. 
And then she tells Bloom that she herself was born in this town and her family died there two days before Bloom's first world birth, you know. And so this, you know, gives them the idea that Bloom was also born there and that's where her family was from and died. And Beatrix believes they are the only survivors from that town. And this tells us why Beatrix is so interested in Bloom now. Beatrix tells Bloom that she actually, like, remembers seeing the military conquering the town and the memory was burned into her mind by Rosalind. And she says that Dowling, Silva, and Professor Harvey were there and that they're covering it up. And this is when they start to head back. Bloom tells her that she needs more answers. And Beatrix tells her that Rosalind is actually still alive and she is underground under the school behind a barrier. And as this is happening, a um, car, their car is attacked. And then Dowling arrests Beatrix and puts these like special bracelets on her so she can't use her magic. Once back at the school, Bloom tells Skye and the others that Beatrix did not kidnap her. Skye then confronts Silva and tells him he wants the truth. And then Silva tells Skye that he needs to um, gain the trust of Bloom and find out what she found out on her trip with Beatrix. And this, you know, kind of shows us that the grown-ups seem to be hiding something that they don't want these kids to know about and brings up the questions of are these grown-ups trustworthy and, you know, it's confusing. Who, who are these kids supposed to believe if they can't trust the adults that are there with them? And then this makes Tara really upset because, you know, he's he lied to her about earlier about the recent events and this, her saying this, like, guilt trips Misa into, you know, telling her the truth. So Misa ends up telling Tara that she's in a relationship with Tara's brother, Sam, because she doesn't want to lie to Tara anymore. And even though Misa thought Tara was going to like be really upset, she's actually really happy for them. She laughs and hugs her and she's like, well, my father lost his hair early, so my brother will too. <laughs> and then they realize that Stella is leaving and they're actually kind of sad about it at this point now. And Luna, her mother, is taking her home, which doesn't sound good. So at the end of this episode, Bloom tells Dowling that how she's treating Beatrix is really barbaric by limiting her magic with those bracelets. And she tells her that it was only a joyride that they were on. And Dowling doesn't believe her. And right after um, Bloom walks out of Dowling's office, Dowling calls her mom and says she wants her mom to let her know if Bloom says anything out of the ordinary, which seems a little off to be asking for that. So that was the end of the episode. In this episode, um, in this episode, we see a lot of how many things the adults have actually been hiding from these kids. And it makes me understand why these kids don't trust them and why they want to go and do things on their own. And it's very hard to trust someone when they're not telling you the truth. And this really hurts Tara because her dad has always told her the truth, or so she thought. Um, 
we see Bloom and Beatrix having some sort of connection, um, and we're not sure where that's going to lead. And, you know, what Beatrix tells Bloom is even more confusing. And then we learn a lot more background information about Bloom and Beatrix and where they believe they're from in this episode. Um, I felt like in this episode there was just a lot of information and it was rushed through. Um, but I mean, there's only six episodes, so I'm not sure exactly what they were expecting with that. But I feel like these episodes are kind of at the end here rushing through a lot of facts to try to finish the story where they wanted it to. There are only two more episodes left in this show, so I'll be back later this week to discuss those episodes. Today's makeup I did was inspired by Stella and her light fairy power, so let me know what you think. I tried to do, I, you know, really think of Stella as very ethereal and um, light and very bright, simple makeup. So that's the makeup I went for with this. Let me know if you like it. Tell me in the comments below what you thought of this episode. Thank you all so much and I hope you all have a really great day.